at over here? I'm Brad Trost, soon to be ex-politician and back in the real world. Thank you for coming here today. I grew up in a farm family in rural Saskatchewan. That unfortunately, the one time we moved to Alberta was right before the National Energy Program hit. So my family knows what it is to go through tough times. Farming's a tough business. It was for 20 years. So when I was getting ready to, th to think about what I was going to say to her today, I was reading a bedtime story to my littlest daughter. And it's a story from Dr. Seuss. Zeus. It's called Horton Hears a Who. If you know the story, you know where I'm going with this one. Horton was the only person, he was the only person who heard the Who's. He had big ears, he listened, but the Who's could not be heard by anyone else. They kept trying to have their voices heard, but no one would listen but Horton. Finally at the end, every single Who in Whoville gave a final shout. And then, when they thought they were all exhausted and couldn't be heard, only then did people finally hear them. And that's why what you're doing here today is so important. Because we have to keep shouting so that someone hears. We have to keep shouting that the jobs tied to the oil and gas industry matter. That people who work in natural resource industries, be it farming or fishing or lumber or oil and gas or mining, matter. These are good jobs. They're important. We have too many people in this country saying, if you work with your hands, you're not important. We need this pipeline to go through. We need pipelines to be built. Why? Because they allow good, hardworking people to earn a good living. That's all people want. To work hard, to pay their fair share, and to help build Canada. Thank you for what you're doing. God bless each and every one of you.